there, my name is Miranda Cooper, and today I'll be doing one of Prince Hal's monologues from Henry IV Part I, and one of Portia's monologues from The Merchant of Venice. I know you all, and will a while uphold the unyoked humor of your idleness. Yet, herein will I imitate the sun, who doth permit the base contagious clouds to smother up his beauty from the world that when again he pleased to be himself, being wanted, he may be more wondered at by breaking through the foul and ugly mists of vapors that did seem to strangle him. If all the year were playing holidays, to sport would be as tedious as to work, but when they seldom come, they wished for come, and nothing pleaseth but rare accidents. So, when this loose behavior I throw off, and pay back the debt I never promised, by how much better than my word I am, by so much shall I falsify men's hopes. And like bright metal on a sullen ground, my reformation glittering o'er my faults shall show more goodly, and attract more eyes than that which hath no foil to set it off. I'll so offend to make offense a skill, redeeming time when men think least I will. If to do were as easy as to know what were good to do, chapels had been churches, and poor men's cottages, princes' palaces. It is a good divine that follows his own teachings. I can easier teach twenty what were good to be done than be one of the twenty to follow mine own instructions. <laughs> but this reasoning is not in the fashion to choose me a husband. Oh me, the word choose. I can neither choose who I would nor refuse who I dislike. Such is the will of a living daughter curbed by the will of a dead father. Is it not hard, Nerissa, that I can neither choose one nor refuse none? <laughs> 